Hi guys, I'm Truthman from Overclocking TV and we are still on Gigabyte Boost and this video is only about the X58 UD9. So let's explain the UD9, why this border board is one of the best in the world. Yes, okay, great. So, you know, before we designed this board, we first had a concept, okay? First we think we want to make a board that breaks the world record. We want to build a board that's number one performance on the, in the world. So then we think, okay, what kind of a spec? You know, we, we should put on this board. And then, of course, the best uh, CPU performance and the chipset so far will be the Intel i7 Extreme, right? And the six core uh, CPU Golf Town, and of course, the X58. And then, of course, plus with the graphics performance, we, we add the M4 200 chip, right? The two bridges support four way SLI. So, this will become an ultimate performance uh, platform, right? For, for this kind of segment. So, as uh, you can see on this board, it's firstly to adapt four. Fed VGA cards, it needs a big size. So this is what we call the XL ATX, right? So this is a pretty huge board, right? So uh, you see seven PCI slots, four graphics cards, nicely spacing that can, can fit on this, okay? And uh, of course the CPU here, the memory is uh, six, uh, three channel, 16 memories. Of course, uh, very good graphics performance. And the CPU performance also is very good, okay? We, we redesigned the VRM power uh, region, so it can uh, output the maximum CPU power that's required when you ov overclock the CPU. So here, we uh, revised the choke that we use, we re revised the MOSFETs, we use a new PWN, so this is a new 24-phase PWN. It's true 24-phase and switches in six gears. And also, it has a special feature called the dual power. So, very simple. So, dual power splits the 24 phase into two sets of 12 phases. Okay, that's set, set A and set B. When you, when you uh, power on and when you uh, enable the dual power mode, it's like you have two VRM design on the motherboard. Okay, so set A will work first, set B you will put into uh, sleep. Okay, so you, now you only have one set A working. And then, when at the next reboot, then A gets rest. B comes out and work for you. So you got two VRMs alternating, okay? For So you got longer lifetime on your CPU VRM, and also when the loading is high, when you overcome your CPU, both sets of VRM automatic switches on, okay? Automatic for you. So you get maximum 24 phase. So this is very powerful and also very smart. Also very, uh, what, uh, energy saving, okay? <laughs> Good. So of course this board also equipped with our 333 technologies, okay? USB 3. Okay, the rear panel, USB 3x power, and the SATA 3 performance right here. Okay, so this is what we have on the UD9. Of course, on the UD9, we also include this water block for the water cooling, if some power user would uh, like a quiet and cooling system. Also, we add this hybrid silent pipe. You know, this, uh, this uh, silent pipe that extends to the outside of the chassis. Once you make a proper airflow, you can bring most of the heat out. Okay, uh, a cool air enters the, the, the chassis and then through the system vent brings the heat out. So this heat pipe that brings the heat all on the chipset, MOSFETs, okay, and the VM, and then brings out to the system. So this is a quiet uh, thermal solution from us. Okay, so that makes up mostly for the, for the UD9. Okay? Okay, great. Thank, Thank you. you so much for all this, uh, this detail. Um, this board already broke so many world records yes. with uh, iCookie. Um, can you expect like more and more world record breaking soon? Yes, of course. With, uh, with uh, a, a, a newer CPU, a newer uh, uh, graphics card, we should be pushing the limits further and further. Okay, nice. Keep pushing it. Yes. <laughs> Thank you.